everyone. Today we're having a look at expanding brackets. So when we see that expression um, expand brackets in a question, what it's really saying is remove the brackets in a particular um, expression. So what this means is if we've got something like three multiply by bracket a plus two, what that's saying is we want to get rid of the brackets in that expression. So we want something that's equivalent to this, but without the brackets being there. So all we'll think about there is what this actually is referring to. So I've got three lots, if you like, of A plus two. So if I wrote this out, what I'll call the long way, which is just to show you what this actually means. I've got one lot of A plus two. I'm gonna add on a second lot of A plus two, and now a third lot of A plus two. Now if I combine the like terms that I have in this expression, I can add my three A's together. I can add my three lots of two together as well. And three lots of A will give me three A and two plus two plus two gives us six. Okay, so what we've done there, we have removed the brackets, but we've not used the proper technique for it. So what I'll do again, what I'll do this time is say, well, what if we think of it in this way? Three lots of A plus two. What I'll do instead is write it this way. I'll go, well, I know I've got three of everything that's in this bracket, essentially. So I've got three multiplied by A. I've got three multiplied by two as well, which is gonna give me three multiplied by A gives me three A. Three multiplied by two gives me six. So we've got the same answer there, but we've not had to write multiple versions of what we have in the bracket there to expand it. So what, what we've done there is applied something that's called the distributive law. So essentially, if we've got something like this expression here, and don't be put off by the fact they've used letters here rather than numbers, it's just a, you know, like a general thing that stands in for you know, any number. What we do for these ones is if we want to expand the bracket, we take whatever we've got on the outside, in this case A, and we want to multiply it by everything that's on the inside of the bracket. So A multiplied by B will give us A times B, and A multiplied by C, positive C in this case, will give us A multiplied by C. So that's just its general form. So we're gonna, we're gonna have a look at how that applies to a couple of pretty standard, like easy kind of questions. So again, these say, um, these, this question here says expand the following. And again, when we see the word expand in a question, what it's really asking us to do is remove the brackets from the expression. So write an, an equivalent expression where the brackets um, aren't there. So what we do for this first one here, we've got four on the outside of, of the bracket, and on the inside, we've got B plus three. So we've got to come up with an equivalent expression that takes that bracket away. So what I do there is take my four on the outside and multiply it by everything that's inside the bracket. So four multiplied by B gives me four B. Four multiplied by three gives me 12. And that's it. So those expressions are equivalent to each other, but on the left-hand side, it's in brackets. It's in what we call factorized form. And on the right-hand side, we've got rid of the brackets. It's now in expanded form. So we've written something that's equivalent, but we've taken those brackets away. Okay, now there's a couple of examples here that show you a couple of the, the differences in the easier questions for this one. So three multiplied by A for the next one, it's kind of similar, that gives us three times A, which we write as three A. The next part though, we've got three multiplied by negative two. So we've got to remember our rules for when we multiply positives with negatives. And so a positive times negative will give us a negative. So three multiplied by negative two will give us negative six. So answer for this one would be 3a take away six. So we have to bear in mind that there might be little differences there if they're positive or negative. Next one underneath, we've got b uh, bracket a plus three. b multiplied by a, it's just ba or ab, I'll write it alphabetically. And b multiplied by three gives us, well it's three multiplied by b, three times b, which is just three b, like that. So we're using those skills that you would have learned in previous algebra units where you're multiplying variables with coefficients and that sort of thing, like how we write those, those terms down. Okay, and the last simple-ish one that we'll look at is A multiplied by 2A and A multiplied by 3. Okay, A multiplied by 2A, what we're essentially saying there is 2 multiplied by A multiplied by A, which gives us 2A squared. So this a multiplied by a, we write that as 2a squared instead. It means we've multiplied it by itself. So my first part here is 2a squared. 
and I'm gonna add on to that three multiplied by a, or a multiplied by three, which just gives us three a. So that was written the other way around, but the expression is pretty much the same. And they're the easy single bracket expanding questions that you may come across.